what I'm doing right now is I'm on my computer and I'm looking at a website called musicnotes.com and this website is a database for hundreds of thousands of um, pieces of sheet music that you can buy and the really cool thing about it is you pay you know five or six dollars depending on the piece and then you can print it directly off um, and the rights are given to you to use it and so it's like a completely legal way to instantly get music um, I usually buy most of my music off of here because it sells a lot of pop sheet music so if I want if I hear a song on the radio and I want to learn how to play it I just download it off of this and it's really really easy um, so now I'm gonna try and find a different genre of music that I've never played before so it's it's really cool because it separates it by genre so essentially what I can do is I can get on here and I'm on the jazz and I can literally just look at different kinds of sheet musics by um, jazz artists and so I think what I'll do is I'll browse all and I'll look at some of the more popular things and find something that I like that sounds good maybe hopefully it's familiar to me because that makes things easier to learn um, and then I'll try to learn it So I don't want to do anything with words in it um, so um, nothing Nat King Cole or anything that has a, a, a singer in it. Frank Sinatra, Michael Bublé. Um, hmm. The Entertainer. Okay, I actually know this piece. What I just did was I started practicing by playing each hand individually. I do the right hand and then I do the left hand. I do this because I struggle to sight read and so I find that if I, you know, play one hand first and then I play the other um, slowly, I can um, practice them individually and make them really good before I put them together again slowly. So it takes a lot of time and it's really frustrating, but I have to separate the hands because it makes it easier for me to learn.
I really struggle with octaves. Scott Joplin throws a lot of octaves in the right hand and some in the left hand, and they're really, really fast. And not only are they octaves, but they're like three-part chords, meaning I use my second finger as well as my thumb and my fifth finger. So I'm stretching my hand um, as far as it will go across the eight keys, and it's fast, and it's moving up the keyboard. And so um, that was really hard for me and really painful. I'd have to stop a lot and rub my hands. The speed is a little fast, so I've slowed it down, which kind of helps me, but it kind of loses that whole jazzy ragtime swing. Um, but I can't really do much about that, and I have to slow it down, which I guess makes it um, a little bit more my own than um, a Scott Joplin swing.